So I'm gonna do something I've never done in public before. That's read a poem. Which I don't think I could do some an event like this and get away with not. Fortunately, it's embedded in the memoir, so it's kind of a cheat. Uh, this was inspired by um, an unfortunate circumstance that yielded two positive results, which is um, had my mom dying from colon cancer means there's a family history, so it behooves everyone else in the family to get a colonoscopy, which I did my first one when I was 32. Uh, the night before, if anyone's ever been through that, it's not the most pleasant experience cleaning out the system, and there was the inevitable dread that occurred, but to pass the time in between trips to the bathroom, I somehow wrote a poem in one sitting that I never felt the need to improve upon. So this is called, As Opposed to Prayer. <clears throat> Nervous and unnerved this evening, alone, searching for solace, something not unlike prayer, a hope that the past won't repeat itself. Progress, the preemptive strike, this procedure, they call it a procedure where they expect nothing unexpected. Precedents and percentages, our family has a history, meaning that some part of someone who has died might be alive and unwelcome and somewhere inside. Remembering immeasurable moments, IVs and all the unpleasant things you can't force yourself to forget. Bad days, worst days, glimpses of serenity and grief, a flash focus of forced perspective. This too shall pass. Then, inevitably, earlier times, I recall when doctors touched us and dentists handled us with bare hands, still living then in a past the future had not crept up on. A time when the truth was believable because the only lies the children can tell get told to escape tiny troubles that they've created. And so, I'm uneasy and it's not even myself I'm thinking about frightened all over again for my mother, and I can do nothing for her now, just as I could do nothing for her then. A cycle. She'd seen her own mother suffer while each of them made their anxious inquiries, appeals in treating the darkening clouds out of time. Like her son, she eventually became acquainted with the white wall world of procedures and all that happens before, during, after, and beyond. Hope and fear, faith than despair, the nagging need to believe in men and the magic of machines, or the things we say when no one's speaking. I'm so scared, she said, to anyone who was listening. I know I was, and we hope that God was, the God who may have done this and a million other things in his austere, always unaccountable way. In the end, she feared the truth, but not the reasons why awful things always happen to almost everyone. Me, I envied the armor of her fear. I understood I could not even rely on those lovely lies about a God I couldn't bring myself to believe in. We were there, a child and the man who brought me into this calculus. We're made in God's image, they say, but it's your parents' faces you see when you look at the, at the pictures and see the future. He said what needed to be said, nothing. And I said what he said. After all, what were we supposed to say? The truth? The truth, was, the truth was this, we too were scared. I'm so scared, she said, and we told her it was gonna be okay. We told her we had reasons to believe, and we told her other things when the things we'd already told her turned out to be untrue. We never told her the truth, which was that we were lying. Fear and faith are useful if you can afford either, or fear is free and always lingers longer after it served its purposeless point, like a stain on the street days later. Dying is nothing to be daunted by, it's living that takes the toll. Living with death, living with life, being unprepared or unwilling to be unafraid when it's finally time to die. I'm so scared, I say, to anyone who may be listening into silence, wondering if they can do more for me than we could manage to do for her. There's no one left to lie to, yet the truth, as always, is immutable. And so, if you're out there, please help me. Help me absolve this dread that no one can hear.